What is up, everyone? So today for Music Marketing Wednesday, we're going to be making a website. Well, kind of making a website with Ben Zugel. I was doing updates and changes to the website on um, our website, Tarrant.info. And I was like, you know what? This is a topic of the videos that we need to film in an upcoming week. Might as well just record it right now. So that is what we're going to do. I'm going to kind of show you uh, the layout of this website and kind of show you the back office of Terrence's website and kind of see how the websites are created. So this is the front page. You can get started. 30 day trial. No credit card needed. Key right there. You know, anyone could get going right away. So I have multiple websites on my account. So this is like my back office now. My control panel. Which I can just hit edit website, but. So this is what your back office will look like. Okay, I want to go to my Terran Info website. And now it shows us all the back office and all that stuff. So I was in the middle of uh, editing this because if you see, there's really no point to go to our website right now, you know? Our store is off the website. Our videos are off the website. So people go to YouTube for the videos. People go to um, Gumroad for our services and products. So... I want to build the website into our one-stop shop like it should be. So I was in the middle of doing that. So you'd go to edit theme. And that's where I chose my theme. What I did was. Uh, I picked the theme, right? And then you upload your picture and stuff. And do your pages and all that stuff. Now when I scroll down, you won't see it. But the page will actually pop up. So, you know, you can do all your editing to the theme that you chose. Oh, there we go. Now it pops up. See, now you can see the website. So I wanted to make it something so you could see the logo and as well as the website, you know? I thought that was cool. That's why I chose this theme. So once you have your theme and you choose the colors and all that stuff, which I, I'm not done, I'm going to do, you know, change all that out. But, yeah, so that's where you would do it. And, uh... This is where all the content is of our, at least our old website. It's going to change after this video because I'm going to start redoing some stuff. But these are your pages and then you would drag them over and in to be sub pages. And it's fairly simple like that. So now this is my home page right here. And now this is all the little modules you could do on that home page. You could split the page up how you want. And then you add features which go into each of these little boxes and you can place them around. This is a title, you know, this is where some text is going. Email lists, my websites, images, and these link out to different things. HTML codes for ads and stuff like that. Facebook pixels. So all that stuff. And then you go to view your website. All this equals this. And it looks very nice and stuff. And it's much better than I could ever even code. And, you know, in the future, we're going to start splicing some coding with these pre-made websites. But really, like, it does so much for you. Why spend all the time? And then you could only code what you need to code to make it what you need, you know. So, up to you. But this is the way we're making the websites for now. So, let's go back to the editor. And I'm going to show you some other stuff. And actually create it like a fake page and show you what it uh how to get going. So you could even create pages that you know you could link to, but they're not public. So a bunch of pages I made, even test pages, and you can link to them on your site, but they're not necessarily you know in that top menu bar. And then you can do the you know file manager and all the little details and images and. Payment settings and headers and footers and all that stuff. So let's go back, go back, go back, go back. All right. Now let's go add a page. And let's do a music page. Or let's do a store. Let's, let's just, uh, no, let's do a blank page. <laughs> they're all basically the same it's just the stores will have pre-made things that are meant for selling and putting prices and stuff shows obviously is going to be like a calendar 
electronic press kit, you know, it says right here, it's going to be like a resume, an overall package of you or the business or whatever. Music page, obviously, it's going to be a music player, sell music, blank page, clean slate. You could do whatever you want in that page. You could do all of those in one page. So main page, create my page. All right, let's put not in menu. And not published. And uh, four. So now that we have the blank page, it is basically nothing. It's whatever the layout default is, like the theme you chose. Uh, let's do, let's say three columns on this one. So you go add feature. These are the basics up here. My sites, you can link to your sites. This is the site wide player. So basically the music page. Guestbook forums, those are cool too. You could get those on the site. Store, same thing, you know, as the other page. You could sell stuff, music, sell stuff. Donation page. This is like email sign up, so it collects emails, gets them on your list. Custom forms, if you want, like uh, contact us forms and stuff like that, you could create that with this. Polls, obviously, you know, you could run polls on the website. And then these are all the externals. You could do third parties into your website with these. And then these are just their other stuff. Embed Flash Movie into your page, a list of files. Visitors can uh, download and then your hit counter, obviously, is self-explanatory. But then, yeah, you could do all this editing to the thing and then each little module has some pre-made things too, which make it even easier. So you're really not coding anything that you don't want to. Nothing. Like You don't have to code anything that you don't want to. You just literally drag, drop, fill out. And that helps anyone because... If you're creating a business or a music page and stuff, you're an artist, you're a business owner, you're seriously not a graphic and web designer, but you certainly don't have all the money or you choose not to spend the money on getting someone to build it for you. And this is a great alternative to put the power back in your hands and create it yourself. So I know this wasn't really creating a full website, but this is literally all you need to know to get in there and creating right away your website and like they said free for 30 days don't have to put your credit card in there and this is really going to take your brand to the next step because now you have a, a home for them to come to and that's what i'm in the middle of making like i said right now it's poorly planned we just built the website to have a website and everything is kind of third party out there but now we're going to be building the home for the tarrant community and music producers to come to to learn so Thanks for watching. I hope this has helped you r realize like building a website is not that scary. There's a bunch of um, things out there to help you. And Banzoogle is one that is aimed towards like the music industry and helps artists and music businesses sell their products online. And as well as music and just getting yourself out there and having a home base for your fan base. Thanks for watching. Peace.